kwani we ni yule muimbaji wa Tanzania naam we ni yule muimbaji wa Tanzania nani sitaki kumtaja <laughs> yeye ni anachukua wasiana anawapa mimba anawaacha kuna mtu anamjua Hello guys, it's your girl Fashion Status. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscription box and put on the notification bell so that you're notified when I post a new video. So today it's all about uh, Pastor Ezekiel speaking about diamond. And before that, remember this video is brought to you courtesy of Pami Liquid Soap. So you're gonna buy hand wash liquid soap at retail wholesale. You can call it at seven two six. 606519 also if you wanna buy honey the electronics the contacts are right there the reliable sources you can call them they are call out with you for the best services at the best and affordable prices so back to today's video it's after it's all about pastor Ezekiel uh who is a pastor to uh, in the in new life church uh that's his church and he has been trending uh for the last I think a few months, around seven months after he was arrested um, because people thought he was um, connected to the Shakahola massacre. But then he was released after some days and he still goes for the hearing. And so he's still uh, preaching while outside. And there is this someone, uh, you know, during his sermons, usually speak to those who have come to seek help and as you all know he is well known for Nyota Yandoa whereby he gives people Nyota Yandoa there are these people have, uh, who have taken long to get married, others have gotten married and divorced others are married but uh, they are not in good terms with their partners, others are married and they have kids outside the wedlock so where, uh, when he notices you have a problem with marriage, he gives you your entire marriage, which helps you now to go and get married and never have problems. So that's what he is known for, Nyota. And so there is this certain someone that um, a certain man came and then he was... He was telling him how he has been unlike when it comes to marriage. He has had many women and he also has many kids outside the wedlock with different women. And so Pastor was telling him, are you like this uh, Tanzanian artist who gets ladies pregnant and then he leaves them? And when the next comes, the next lady comes, she thinks she's uh, better than the rest. She gets pregnant and he leaves her. So he was asking her, he was asking the guy if he's like uh, the Tanzanian artist, whoever he never mentioned the name. But as you all know, of course, he was referring to Diamond because he's well known for that, for having many baby mamas, many kids with different women. Yeah, so um, I went through the comment section of people and they, was, uh, they were saying and wondering if Pasta is also a fan of Diamond because of course you cannot know all this without watching someone. You must, be of, you must have watched uh, his stories, he must have maybe heard about him, watched his songs to know all about his life story and... Uh, his baby mama stories. Yes, yeah, so people are saying uh, Pasta is also a fan of Diamond. <laughs> I think people are just trying to make a uh, fan of it. But of course, it's the reality. Uh, we know Diamond of having many, uh, many baby mamas and hoping from one woman to another. So uh, Tanzanians have been bitter about it. <laughs> but anyway, it's the reality, you know. If it was something false, that could be a different case. But in this case, it's, it's the truth. So, Tanzanians, you have to accept it like it or not. <laughs> anyway, you guys, you can tell us your view about it down there in the comment section. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and put on the notification bell. So that you're not for any time I post a new video. And thank you for watching up to this far. I'm going to see you on my next video. Goodbye. <laughs> Muke yuko? Apana nimezaa nae. 
Umeza naye alafu? Ah. Atu sisi naye. Ah? Sisi naye. Uishi naye. Hapana. Kwa nini? Sitamaniki kuishi na mke. Ah? Sitamaniki kuishi na mke. Natamani tu kuzaa basi. Ah, au tamani kuishi na mwanamke? Hapana. Kuzaa? Natamani. Uko na watoto wangapi nje? Almost wako wanne. Wanne? Yeah. Wanawake tofauti tofauti. Ndio. Kwani we ni yule muimbaji wa Tanzania? Naam. We ni yule muimbaji wa Tanzania? Nani? Sitaki kumtaja. <laughs> Yeye ndiye anachukua wasiana na wapa mimba anawaacha. Kuna mtu anamjua? Nyumbani ni wapi? Nyumbani Tanzania. Oi. <laughs> Kuna muimbaji wa nyimbo hizi za bongo Tanzania. Anachukua msiana, anampa mimba, anaacha. Anachukua, anampa mimba na akipenda msiana, huyo msiana pia ashtuki. Yeye anafikiria ndiye ndiye. Akapenda mwingine hapa Kenya pia akachukua, akapechikwa mimba akaachwa. Lakini roho ya kuoa hauna. Hapana. Na ukipenda msiana ni lazima aende na mimba. Kabisa. Ah watoto unawajua wote? Ndio. Unawahudumia? Ah bwana. Kuna mwingine uko naye tena sahi? Binti. Eh. Hey. Ndio. Asiapata mimba? Hapana. Lakini atapata. Ndio. Ah mwanangu ufunguliwe uende uoe. Na roho ya ushirati. Ndio. Muke yuko? Hapana nimezaa naye tu. <laughs> Umezaa naye alafu? Atushishi naye. Ha? Sishi naye. Uishi naye. Hapana. Kwa nini? Sitamaniki kuishi na mke. Ha? Sitamaniki kuishi na mke. Natamani tu kuzaa basi. Au tamani kuishi na mwanamke? Hapana. Kuzaa? Natamani. Uko na watoto wangapi nje? Almost wako wanne. Wanne? Yeah. Wanawake tofauti tofauti. Ndio. Kwani we ni yule muimbaji wa Tanzania? Naam. We ni yule muimbaji wa Tanzania? Nani? Sitaki kumtaja. <laughs> Yeye ndiye anachukua wasiana na wapa mimba anawaacha. Kuna mtu anamjua? Nyumbani ni wapi? Nyumbani Tanzania. Oi. <laughs> Kuna muimbaji wa nyimbo hizi za bongo Tanzania. Anachukua msiana, anampa mimba, anaacha. Anachukua, anampa mimba